the big story on Action News tonight has been developing all day long as a sprawling forest fire in Burlington County has now swollen to 5,000 acres. Chapter 6 now live over the Bass River Forest. And you can see the situation at this hour, 6 o'clock tonight. Officials say they have this about 50% contained right now, but given the very dry conditions, they say they could be working for days to put this out. The fire began yesterday evening, forced the evacuation of a nearby campground, the closure of several local roads as well. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez has been keeping tabs on this all day long. Aliana, what's the latest on the ground there tonight? Well, Brian, I can tell you right now the smell of smoke is still in the air, but the wind conditions are really calm right now, and I want to get to that in a moment. But I, we did get those updated numbers that you mentioned in the last hour. 5,000 acres burned, 50% containment. I want to put that into perspective for you because last night fire crews built a 6,000 acre perimeter, a fire perimeter, right? And they're trying to contain that fire to just that perimeter. So the 5,000 acres burned is still within that limit, if you will, but the 50% containment is significant, up from 15% that we had a few hours ago. So they are gaining control of this fire and that is the most important thing. And again, with the wind conditions pretty calm right now, if they stay this way, they might be able to get this containment up even more in the next coming hours. I've never had a forest fire this close. Smoke has filled the sky above the Bass River State Forest as an intense wildfire burns through the woods, threatening nearby communities. We heard some sirens and then we went out and looked and uh, we could see a little plume of smoke. 40 people at the Timberline Lake Campground scrambled to gather what they could before evacuating. At first, I was more worried about it hitting the camp, campground. <laughs> Yeah, that's my happy place. I, that's where I want to be. Six homes near the fire zone were also part of the evacuation when the wildfire first broke out on Allen Road Wednesday night. But neighbors have since been cleared to return home. Firefighters have been working overnight to attack the flames using an indirect approach for safety. The fire was not accessible to our equipment and vehicles. We worked through the evening and through the night to try and contain the fire to the smallest area possible. 70 firefighters are on scene, but they're cautiously attacking the flames after two deadly wildfires in 1936 and 1977. There was nine firefighters killed in this woods two miles from here behind us. It's been nearly a quarter century since a wildfire spread through these woods, so environmental concerns are top of mind. We're concerned about the history that this area holds with the fatalities of forest fire fighters and frankly, the conditions of the forest. And back out here live, let's talk road closures because there are several in place right now. The one behind me is here at Leak Town and Chatsworth Roads where there's a sign warning people about smoky conditions ahead. We're told the road closures will be in place for a few days. Uh, again, they're still working to monitor the conditions. Those wind conditions are going to play a major role in how quickly this fire is contained. So far, no injuries have been reported. Reporting live in Bass River Township, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah.